this is Uncle Marlin. We had him aboard last year, so many of you already know Uncle Marlin, but a lot of people asked about Uncle Marlin, so that's, it's my dad's dog. We take care of him sometimes. He likes hanging out with us. He's a Portuguese water dog, not a doodle. Hey, hi. Today is gonna be a good day. What's going on today? Billy spent a lot of money. We're getting new sales today. <laughs> now, let me be very clear. We tried extremely hard to get some sort of sale sponsorship or uh, discount, I don't know, because we make a lot of videos and these sales are gonna be all over our videos. And it didn't work. So we paid full price for these new sales that we're getting and they were very expensive. But hopefully it's worth it. Our old sales are getting pretty much destroyed. You can see here, just all the stitching is coming out. The luff line here is just, <laughs> it's not connected anymore. It's just broken right there. Um, so there's no luff line all the way up to, on the front side of the headboard. Um, it's just, this sail is really stretched. I can never ever get it quite flat. It always has like a bag in it. And then our head sail, our Genoa, same thing. It's just really stretched out, really baggy. And I don't think this sail was meant for this boat. I think it probably was used from another boat and then kind of altered and cut differently to fit this boat because it's just strange. The cut is strange. And then just where like the sheet leads to the track is just not quite right. I have to do some really different things to make it work on different uh, wind directions. So, yeah. Basically, they work still. Like, we can sail with them, but we can't go upwind as efficiently and we just don't sail as fast or efficiently. So it's about time for some new sails. And thank you to each and every one of you that bought one of our shirts because all that money is what we're using to buy these sales. And you may be wondering what we're doing with our old sales here. And we got a fun idea. Oh yeah, also we lost a batten on this sale. Oh, sorry, love. Because look, the just the, the batten stitching is just <laughs> just holes in it. <laughs> and the velcro came undone. The velcro is not even stitched on anymore. So on a really windy day in the Carolinas, that batten just flew right out. Yep. But don't worry, we are still keeping our number as 99. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is just take the sails off and then the guy from the new sail company is gonna come and help us put the new sails on and I think we're gonna go for a sail with, with him and the new sails and what? see how they are. All right, we got all the sails down. Gonna get them to shore and go get the other sail. So uh, the bat, let's start with the top. Hold on one second. Yeah. All right, go ahead. There were probably hundreds of sail makers we could have went with, but we chose to go with North Sails because of their reputation for being leaders in quality and innovation in sail making. Here's Paul from North helping me put in the battens of the new main sail. So we went with a square top mainsail to add some more sail area. It's a tri-radial cut using North's Nordak fabric. Uh, it's got six full length battens and three reef points. The Genoa is about 130% roller furler reefing, also a tri-radial cut using North's NPL tour material. I'll post some links in the description if you guys are interested in the technical side of our new sails. What you doing? Oh my god, you just scared me. I'm painting. Doesn't she look pretty? Oh, can I have a bite? That's a good apple. Sorry we haven't showed you the whole process. We're in a little bit of a rush. But we're almost done. Ooh. First 
coat of primer is on. Second coat comes tomorrow. Just a special thanks to BoatBuilderCentral.com for getting us the materials and supplies that we need. We used All Grip 545 primer for the whole top side of the boat and we'll use the same tomorrow and then when we do the top coat we'll use top coat, All Grip top coat 2000 or something. So thanks Boat Builder Central and they shipped it all the way from good old Florida. And we'll, uh, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good job. Doesn't she look shiny? Coat number two of primer. Two more coats to go. We're on like the third top coat, kind of. Some spots only a second top coat because it was starting to vent mist on us. And we stopped painting those spots. Ah, so much painting, it's taking so long to paint every coat and we're so ready for this to be over. And on top of us being in a rush, trying to get where we need to go, do all the boat work we have to do, painting means that you have to, in between coats, you have to make sure everything stays super, super clean. But we have birds that keep pooping all over the boat in between every single coat. <sighs> Who do they think they are? And they're just laughing at us. Are you coming over to poop too? How's it going? As good as it can go with bird poop everywhere. This hatch is a big one. Finally got that last coat of paint on. Is it perfect? No, not perfect. What? But it's about. It. How do you say it's not perfect? Is it perfect? Yes. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's pretty dang close to perfect, and it's about a million times better than it was before. So, any ideas on how to keep it clean and white? Let us know. And it's time to go sailing. Right. We're going sailing. While Sierra was doing the final coat of paint today, I was turning our backstays into running backstays. When the sail is on one side of the boat or the other, we can loosen the leeward backstay and it won't be in the way of the big high roach main sail. This is kind of a temporary setup that I did using most of whatever I had and we're gonna, we're gonna turn the whole backstay into uh, Dyneema ducks and then do a um, a little bit different runner, but similar. Let's go sailing.